Yay, we've beaten the game. That we have. Are there credits? Yes. Well then. Yep. That was Diablo. <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> With those eyes. That was Malthiel. Where's your head at? Well, I'm talking about the game. <laughs> I Diablo. know, I'm just making fun of you. <laughs> I don't know. It. So. Diablo has been unleashed upon the world again, and are yep. the angels going to be with us this time to help? Uh, I mean, they showed Imperius with Tyriel. I don't know. I mean, also, the, the story would he have has to not... Would he have to inhabit a new body? Also, yeah, we destroyed Adria, correct? Yeah. The story straight up doesn't continue. Like, they have to make a new game for us to have a follow-up. Follow and, like... Mm -hmm. Who knows when that's gonna happen? They haven't announced anything. It's supposedly in development, but who knows? And I hope they don't continue it in Diablo Immortal, because I don't really want to play that. I don't have to play that's it. That's probably gonna be a spin-off from an older time. Yep. So what do we get? Ooh. It's probably worse than what I've got. Yep, it's worse. Element skills have a chance to trigger a powerful attack. Oh, that's neat. Oh. I got a set item. I bet it's actually... It is better than what I got. Grace of Anarius. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Skull to mage damage, duration of control effects. Cool. Whoa. That is a helmet whoa, and a half. Whoa. And then I have Andariel's visage. Andariel's visage. Hmm. Can you see what it looks like at the very least? Well, it's actually better than Inarius's understanding, so. Because attacks release a poison nova that deals a ton of extra weapon damage to po uh, poison enemies within 10 yards. Don't quite agree with the golden aspect of the skull, but. Yeah. How people are asking about the chicken. It's the cuckoo. Don't do anything still don't know how to get the, uh... I still don't know how to get the... Uh... Ganondorf set. Because there's a Ganondorf set you can get. But I have no idea where. I'll just put that away until I have the rest of the set. Or at least a number of the pieces of the set. I just want to look at my... Ooh. Okay. I'll just identify this even if I won't use it. Lord Greenstone's fan. Hmm. I didn't get anything else, did I? You got the special items. I wonder if you can just farm him for items. Spines of seething hatred. Might be able to. Oh, check your stash for a book. Hmm. What, do we have a journal? And check the mystic for the Ganondorf stuff. Who's uh, Auric? Who's the mystic? Who's Auric? I don't He's a know. Ghost. Greetings, Nephilim. I can create a rift so you might test your skill in battle. But first, I require a keystone. One of these characters is the mystic. Because that's the gem. Oh. Oh, maybe it's the swirly up hey, here? here's the... Dash. Oh, there's nothing in here. But maybe that's because I'm not the instance. Transmogrify. I don't see Ganon stuff, though. How do I get it from her? Unless it's something... Still have an answer. What? What else did you write for? Uh, there's a lot of, like, video gaming stuff, like, dudes raiding, like, sci-fi facilities and stuff. So you never envisioned yourself living in any of the universes of mm -mm. your favorite 
series? Nope. Never? Mm -mm. Never? Not really. No? Not even in daydreams? Nope. No? No, I... I, I try very hard not to have self-inserts. Most of my dreams never feature me. Well, the thing is... Wouldn't necess Wouldn't you, playing as a character you create in Tor or KOTOR or something, be a somewhat self-insert? Kind of? Yeah. Any MMO character I mean, would be. I mean, yeah, but like, I'd still prefer them to be a separate entity from me. But that's the thing. Okay, Legend of Ganondorf. <laughs> the Legend of Ganondorf. Where do you get it? How to unlock the Ganondorf set. Oh, there's a book. Okay. And Are you sure it is only isn't applicable? Blah, blah, blah. Only applicable in the main game? Huh. There's also an amiibo portal. I don't even know how that works. Well, yeah, okay, the Ganondorf amiibo, if that's what you need. Uh, we do, but it's not what I need. Wow, kind of wish I had found this earlier. Apparently, what the heck is the Humbart? Humbart Wessel? Oh, that's, that's something I got. Where's the book? Unless it's here? Ah, there it is. Mm. Okay, so if I, whoops, we go down here. We wouldn't have really had the money for this until now anyway. So now we go back to her. Okay. And transmogrify. It's mainly this one that matters. <laughs> Just a it's helmet that looks like his face. Very expensive. I think it's this one. I would have done everything but his face just to see what the armor was like, but I mean, I can I can always switch it away. Oh, this is this is what his armor looks like. I see though. Uh, yeah. Uh, is it? It's probably this. I mm. think that matches. I wish it was. I I wish yeah. there were names. Or if they had a different color behind them. Yeah. I'm assuming it was that. Because apparently I've picked up several of these. Oh, this is pricey. Okay, so that's the full Ganondorf set. The uh, head's kind of big. It doesn't look good. I like this May set. Maybe it would look good on a barbarian. But it probably doesn't look good on the necromancer because he is such a thin character. Whereas Ganondorf is supposed to be hulking. Yeah. No, that's a good point. Having it on, uh... I always liked one of the skulls or the crown. I like this one, kind of. Or the horns, yeah. You like your... The horns are cool. There we go. Now I look like the dapper Black Knight. <laughs> it works. It actually looks quite nice. Not so useful given the situation, but still Blacksmith's be belongings. What? Oh. I don't know. It's nothing. All right. So what do we do next? Do uh, we... Hmm. Talk with them? Thank you for coming here. There are many bounties to undertake nearby. Thank you, Roboterial. So this is this is the post-game content. So we can do bounties. Uh, there's five bounties for each world, plus you can refight bosses for extra loot. You can also do Nephilim portals uh, through this thing, which is just like go kill a bunch of enemies until you get the... Uh, uh, until you fight the boss, you fight the boss, and then that opens up the Who's greater Who's this guy with the quest? Oh, wait, Zoltan Cool. What's he doing here? Yes, I live once more. I'm very hard to kill, and really, you did a sloppy job. But enough small talk. I need your help. An artifact lies in the ruins of Seshron, guarded by the spirit of a mighty warrior, who will only grant it to the worthy... I think you'll have a better chance of impressing this spirit than I. Aid me in this, and I'll use the artifact to help you. Oh. oh. 
The Nephilim. That fool actually killed me. Of course, this was not my first time stepping through that door. And I imagine it won't be my last. Fortunately, I am well prepared. Some would say that animating a constructed body with preserved memories is not truly coming back to life. I say those fools don't understand the sheer wonder of being Zoltan Cool. Okay, why don't we actually quickly do his request? Mm -hmm. Does anybody remember which act that was in? Uh... It'd probably be in Chaldeum. Yeah. Maybe. Sargon? No, Sargon was a different game. Where's the Haradra cube? Kanai's cube is found... Oh, that's not helpful. Where do I find the new cube? Act 3, Runes of Sesheron. Let's do this quick. Seeing as... So it's it's actually 3. And we want to go to the... Ah! Up here. Kanai's cube was last seen in the Runes of Sesheron. Wait, why are we fetching this farm again? Uh, so this is like the first step in the post game. We take a look. We might as well take a look at it just because we're here. And this is, I think, one of the only post game areas that's like uniquely post game. Barbarians pack. Bell has invaded Sesheron, but we will fight until we are no more, for we are all that stands between him and our sacred mountain. And I swear. By the blood of Bokathos, hell will pay dearly for each of our deaths. Bring that Not enough down. essence. Yeah, so this is the only post-game area that I can think of. This is the Barbarian homeland. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's why we have Barbarian yeah. journals. My essence is too low. Okay, there are a few other post-game areas. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't oh. heard of any of them. I know there's like the Nephilim Rifts and the Greater Nephilim Rifts. I just don't know if there are any that have like direct story. I need essence. Tough business. I should probably actually revive some of these guys I now that I'm thinking about it. To that. I need some more things. My essence is too low. My master would take pride in this. But yeah, a little, little disappointed that they haven't continued the game. Because they really could have just, like, made, like, seven DLC for this, sold them, like, 10, 20 bucks each, and actually done well. Oh, yeah. Wasn't Halo going to try to do an episodic system? This is too low. No, it was definitely Halo. Halo? Well, they certainly haven't. Unless, I know. They, they Unless that's what Halo Infinite is. I'm like, if that is what Halo Infinite is, cool. Like, I'm down. They had I announced some essence. project a long, long time ago in one of the... Maybe it was one of the DVDs for an animated thing they had done. They're like, oh, we're going to be attempting a new system where we'll have a, a new series of like live action actors. Oh, they did Pulling that. off the quests and stuff. Yeah. But like, there wasn't that many. Mm -hmm. They just did kind of a handful. Yeah. My essence is too low. Uh, nope, still can't turn off voice acting here if we're going to be having journals and stuff. Mm hmm Okay, so areas with no lines going to it are the ones that are post-game. Cool. Ooh, snowballs. I like the areas. It's kind of neat. Whoa, watch and out for the swinging. they had an episodic campaign as part of Halo 4. Huh. Yeah. I guess we own... Uh... We own Halo 4. Yeah, I remember that being a special feature on one of the DVDs. We gotta finish some games before we play through the Halo games, though. We're waiting for another Halo. My yeah, if they is too if low. if they announce a release date for Halo Infinite, we're playing through the Halo games. Well, I played with you through the Halo games. Up yeah, through... it, it'd be the two of us. We wouldn't be able to split screen for some of them, so after a certain point, it would just be me. Mm -hmm. Or we could just do it that Not I'm playing. Ah. Uh, the whole way through. 
But we might as well do co-op. Actually, I could even see we might be able to do... Uh, we might be able to stream game... Gameplay, sort of? To a PC. So we could actually do non-split screen co-op. I'd have to see if that's possible, though. Because I will admit, I don't like the idea of split screen in anything. Because it's not great. I need essence. Because <laughs> it doesn't look good. Sorry. You're getting tired, aren't you? No, no, no. It's just a little bit flummy for some reason. I think it's because of me laughing uncomfortably for a oh, while. Oh, because of the, uh... Because of me hounding you about all the smut that you wrote when you were a kid? It was never that. Uh -huh. Never that. It was just about being a part of the adventure and... And saving people. That mm -hmm. kind of stuff. And then you'd look at each other and giggle. <laughs> and then you'd, you'd, you'd have, like, endless amounts of subtext. Because you can't really write, like, it straight out. Not with that stuff. Because that's, that's improper. Mm -hmm. Not enough essence. Well, also... Half the characters I ever found to be my favorite in any series died anyway. So it was one of those things where... So you'd be the one to save them. So they owed you. No. No, they died. I wasn't going to change the continuity. I knew some people that, like, wrote fan fictions and, like, whole fan comics where Aerith from Final Fantasy VII didn't die. <laughs> that was always kind My of impressive. Is too Chief low. Elder Kanai was the best of us. He could have been the next immortal king. None have come close to bringing the tribes together since Warusk. But Kanai could have been the one to change that with his indomitable spirit. Though as strong as three warriors, his true strength lay in his compassion. Die! This is a beefy dude. And he is Vern Thiel, or whatever his name was. Um, I need healing. That makes me sad. What? It makes me think of Vern Troyer. Mm hmm. Uh, Vern Troyer died. Who? Uh, actor for. Jeez, I want to say R two D two. I thought that was Baker. Oh, you're right. No, sorry. Vern Troyer was. Yeah, it was, it was Baker that was R2-D2. Vern Troyer was many things. He was he was a dwarf comedian actor. Mm -hmm. um, a really funny guy. Unfortunately, severely depressed and uh, I think had issues with drugs and alcohol alcoholism throughout his entire life. Pride in this. Uh, oh, he was Mini-Me in Austin Powers. Okay, I never did see any of the Austin Powers. I don't know if you'd like them, but they were they were fun. We showed Bale and his army what it meant to fight true warriors. But when Kanai was killed, it froze the spirits of our bloodied ranks. That was when the battle was lost, for he was truly our king. My essence is too low. Oh, yeah. Definitely Beast Wars. I'm trying to think what? of others. Oh, fan fictions? Well, or just sometimes I just illustrate fan characters. At a... At a friend who was very pushy on, uh, you must do, like, fan stuff. Hmm? What do you mean? Um, we were both, like, kind of experimenting with webcomics. And so he was, I don't think he was very good at uh, coming up with original characters or whatever. So he would constantly do the, yeah, I, I see what you mean. Yeah. And so I think like in the end he did come up with an original character, but for a while he was like really dead set on like making a sprite comic with like, I want to say it was uh, 
I can bring Nintendo that characters down. living in one house and Sega characters living in another and some kind of like <laughs> rivalry thing and so on and so forth. I was oh. really into that idea. Okay, so was it really just the Mario crew versus the Sonic crew pretty much? I guess? I don't know. He never went, went through with it. Well, and obviously for legal reasons you can't. I mean, you can if you've... If you're... Well, you know... Not paying too much attention to... Uh, laws, I guess? I don't know. I Tons of people have done Nintendo fan comics like that. They just don't last long, and they generally die off. Well, it's one of those things, too, where you can't in good conscience actually monetize off of that stuff. And I'm still surprised no. that there are people that are... There are people that will. ...doing, like, Undertale stuff and other things. I remember, I want to say it was... specifically, I think... I used to read a number hmm? of these just out of... Maybe not curiosity, but because, you know, I'd read any webcomic. Some were really good. There was 8-Bit Theater, which was a fan comic based on um, Final Fantasy 1. Kind of a retelling the plot, but with, like... My essence you know, is More humor low. or something. Well, yeah, kind of giving the, the main characters more personality-ish. Mm -hmm. uh, it was actually pretty good. And he went off to write Atomic Robo. Uh, but there are some Don't other I ones that was, like... I think it was a straight-up Archie's Sonic... Mech Warrior crossover comic. <laughs> yeah, that was wild. It was weird and I wouldn't say bad necessarily. It was really edgy. And so it was kind of hard to determine like, is this good? I don't know. Yeah, and I know a lot of my friends and even myself at that Time point. That to die. It was one of those things where we really loved these series and wanted to create our own stories for it. And but then you, I don't want to say outgrow it, Die, but you realize that if you ever want to be your own creative person, you create your own IP and... You've exploded. Yeah, I know, I exploded. But when you're starting off, what it does is it... I suppose people have the work done for them they don't well it's like, so the much world, easier the world building and the characters are established so it's you so really just to play borrow. with them i mean look at uh look at what was it aragon borrowed so much from other media Ooh. yeah and so you know a lot of people decry it as not actually very good but realistically as far as like a weird smash up of like multiple different stories it and really followed and tropes, the, the plot of star wars a little too heavily it really did but like it was it was fairly competently written for what it was and you know it probably was a lot easier to write than trying to come up with like your entire own universe and stuff oh i know I because I, i've and, been like, developing my own universe this. for a long time and it's still not concrete even after 10 years but that's because high school and college were uh Weren't really the times to to work on I that. Have lost me. I guess I'm just in here somewhere. Where am I? I don't know. I'll find myself at the end of this fight. I think I'm right in here. My brothers are off to continue clearing there the demon out of Sesheron. Yeah, I straight up can't see my a circle for me. What? Oh. There is no circle for we me. We had no idea there were still other warriors in this world. These Khazra swine never could have taken us if we had not been busy tending to the wounds we earned, slaughtering cannibals. You have earned my protection for a time. Enough talk. The enemies of my people need killing. Onwards. I need to go back. How do you get your circle back? Yeah, I can't find me. Yeah, you don't have your orange I circle. I guess I've got that. If I need to find myself, I can do just do that. Do what I wonder if it is. Do you think it's some glitch with the Ganondorf stuff? Uh, maybe. I I, I can't tell if you had this issue before or after you had acquired know. the Ganondorf stuff. I don't know. I bet if we've been back to the footage. Wars before Kanai joined the council. Had he had the time to take the throne, Bale could never have defeated us. 
Oh, there it is. It's back. I had to, I, I have no idea. That was confusing, to say the least. Oh well. I need essence. Like I will admit, I've actually read some like pretty decent fan fictions. I've also read some, uh, you know, I was talking about how like I like to read epilogues even if it's not official. Mm -hmm. There's a really good uh, Final Fantasy VII epilogue series uh, that I was reading a while back. It was actually this pretty good. There's actually another one uh, that was Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, when, there's like, tons of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles When they were like middle-aged and stuff, which is actually like, it was done well. It was wild. Where are you going? Stop aggroing new ah, enemies! Ah, sorry! Because it just becomes more of a problem. Okay. You loading. make a fine Ow. corpse. There's so much. Sweet so revenge. much going on around here. You keep pulling more groups. Sorry. I'm sort of distracted with my own thoughts because now you brought up Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm... Oh. I'm pretty sure I have something for that too. Oh boy. I must wait. Pretty much anything with cute monster guys. Heal me. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. You know what? What I, other? Uh, street you know, sharks? You got one? For no, 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 not street sharks. You don't have one for street sharks. Not street sharks. I don't know. My lord, I think that she doth take. protest too much. Isn't that the <laughs> phrase? Or me thinks she doth protest too much. Maybe I don't know. It's one of those things where. Remember when my friends were all like, "You must be a forest Do critter, Carl, because she wouldn't settle end. for a human." Yeah. You I also that? had pink hair at the time. You also so had pink hair works. at the time, so they called you a little fairy prince. Yeah. I mean, I did have pink hair at the time. I'm not going to deny too much. <laughs> so which was the cutest street shark? <laughs> what? Hey. Mm, definitely not Shamu or the hammerhead guy. The thing is... Streaks was just... He was a little arrogant. So... If you remember their names. I was being facetious. I don't remember any of them. Of I, I forgot there was a dude that was a... Was he a killer whale? By uh, everywhere. no. He wasn't. Why was his name Shamu? I think he was a whale shark. Uh, oh. Which, <laughs> I know it doesn't make sense. They're like, well, they're... so peaceful. Well, actually... Maybe there was a an orca toy later on, but it was for a completely different character. Or, uh, I don't know. The funny thing is, I remember the villains more in that series than the heroes. Like I remember the the four main protagonists, but it was always weird how. Uh, maybe it was because the villains were named things like. There was a whale shark and an orca. What the hell? I only- I think I've only ever seen the first, like, two episodes of Street Sharks. Street Sharks? Whoa, they're awesome! They bite! They bite! I- it bugged me in that universe nice. how Street quickly sharks. they just, like, suddenly had technology. Like, one of the guys just had a jetpack. No explanation, he just had a jetpack. Like, did you ever notice that in the 90s? Hmm. Or, like, in any media, they just have, like... A super genius character that just has like space tech. Oh uh, well, Doctor Paradigm was in oh, insane. He, the the episode that we had on VHS was him more? trying to pollute the water of um of their city. Yeah, that's the one. F I wasn't had. it Fusion City or yeah, something? It was Fusion City. So that they could, uh, so that he would make everyone into a monster. And wasn't their father some kind of weird creature hiding out in, yeah, like, the sewers? I think the father had gotten, like, mutated more or more something. More than them, yeah. And so, like, you only ever kind of saw him, sort of, but not really. She actually had an opinion on Street Sharks. Yep. Hey. It's Shell. We're, that's... I, I'm huge for nostalgia when it comes to late 80s early 90s 90s plus hot monster men like you really 
What? Really can't go wrong there with her. We also have all the toys for them. Well, not all of them. We had a number of the toys. We even had the weird manta ray toy. Was he a an anti-hero later on? I have no in the idea. Series? There was definitely a manta Clearly ray guy. Clearly we should. Oh, okay. Uh, did you make a self-insert for gargoyles, or was it? Uh, Gargoyles? No. No, I never made Or was it just turns. hot Desdemona x Goliath stuff? No, like, Weakness he despised Desdemona. You. No, it was definitely Elisa. I clearly and, have and not Goliath. seen enough gargoyles you, you, because I have no idea who She's the, the human detective. Oh, her. And of course they end up together. Do they? I have no that idea. That foe will die. I believe they did. I mean, I only really saw through the second season, I think. See if we've been allocating our paragon points. Nope. Whoa, no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lasers. I hate these. My power has grown. Probably go do that. Paragon level 4-3. Yeah. That's only a couple of points here and there. That is too expensive. 2%. Nah. Oh. I'm using Corpse Explosion. 10% extra damage is pretty good. People are asking about DuckTales. I never saw DuckTales. I've heard the new one is really, really good. DuckTales. What other um, wild 90s nonsense did I not watch, but you probably did? You won't survive that. <laughs> Well, I did watch Sky Dancers and Dragonflies. I watched, yeah, the first two episodes of Dragonflies. I don't know how, but my parents would always get, like, the VHSs of the first, like, couple episodes. Uh -huh. And then, and then never... you never see them again. Well, because we couldn't get it on TV, and my parents right. would never buy anything else, so... We have a number of those VHSs as well. And Princess Guinevere and the June Riders. Decay I read the plot locked. synopses for uh, Dragon Riders, and it just sounded like it got real dumb. By the end of it, so I've never been like motivated to go out of my way to watch anymore. Oh, do you know what's another one I absolutely loved? What? Mommy's Sweet alive. Revenge. Oh, sorta. Of. I really like the that designs series. were good. You know that longer. fell into the same trap that always gets me with uh, TV shows or like movies or whatever, where you always have the the token kid oh, or human yeah, character or whatever. Yeah. Like that drives me up the walls. Well, he oh, ended hey, up. Found it. He ended up being the reincarnated. Ramses or something weird. Yeah. So they were sworn Can to protect him. Excellent. You and I will do great things with this, my friend. <laughs> the cube was used by my Haradrim brothers in many of their most complex rituals. When its potential became clear, they began to fear its power. The fools. They hid it away, even from me, and created a less powerful implement, the Haradra Cube, which they used for many years. Okay, so, oh, here it is. Barbarian's pack right oh, there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Dren, the last of our seers, prophesied the darkness would soon pass. He was wrong. Mount Ariad exploded and took our souls with it. Many of our dwindling number were lost that day to madness and worse. They are the unclean. Weakness consumes okay. you. There's another pack right here. That was just a taste. Yeah, so their seer uh, called the facts. Yep. The years wear on us all. Only a few still live. But we have made a good account of ourselves, killing all but the most vicious of the flesh eaters. To think they were once our kin. As long as even one of them still lives, we are all shame. Let's see, how many Captain Planet fan fictions did we make? I actually don't think either of us have really seen a whole nah. lot of Captain Planet. No. I think that was just a little too old for both of us. I saw like one episode and I was just like, man, this is a dumb show. 
Again, token characters, except for it's like if every character was the... We put Kanai on the throne after he died as a tribute to his greatness. Oh. Mm -mm, you went too far. Yep, there's no getting oh, well. that dialogue back. Sorry. I have kept you safe in Sesharon, but now I must return to my vigil. So is that his corpse? Yep. Cool. I guess we're done. Really? This is it? Yeah. Yep, that's it. Oh, we're I'm done. Turning to Whee! town. Kinda hungry. We still you put away the curry, right? Yes, there is curry. Good. And it's been put away. Good. Safe and sun in the refrigerator. Okay. Look for a Zoltan to cool. Ah, over here. There he is. With the cube. Okay, extract legendary power. Reforge legendary. Upgrade rare item. Ooh. Convert set item. Remove level requirement. Oh, that's cool. And convert gems. What does this do? I don't... I don't know. Not your worst idea. Not quite. What did that do? I have no idea. We also have powers. Oh. We have one weapon, one armor, and one jewelry power active at a time. Oh. Hmm. So... This is neat. Kind of hard to do. Damage bonus to command skeletons increases by 30. 30% 30 per second they spend attacking the same target. Oh god. That sounds ridiculously Bone good. Bone ringer. <laughs> okay. Butcher still inhabits the carver. Fifty percent chance to do a fireball when attacked. Less damage. Locks. Well, the power needs to be collected. Yeah. There's a lot of these. Well, something that you could potentially grind later. Oh. If you Siphon really blood want. drains blood from two additional targets. That's really good. Can I just use this? The or no? Pick. So no extracted weapon power equipped. Oh. Oh, but I don't have enough to extract anything anyway. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, well. Yeah. I mean, this is cool. And ridiculous. But, oh boy. Yeah, so I have to... I have to put these into the cube to get the power. Boy. I never stopped looking for Kanai's cube. Finally, I learned that they had entrusted it to a secret society of barbarians. The last of these, Kanai, died in Bale's invasion of Seshron. His spirit guards it still, and he is unlikely to give it to me. But I know someone who can impress even the mighty Kanai. Alright. So I guess with that... We're pretty much done with this series. I don't think I'm going to really include Shell for too much more. I don't think she's terribly interested in post-game grinding. Yeah, I, I, as I've explained before, I primarily play video games for story and lore. And if we've pretty much gotten through the extent of the plot and those journals and the side entries, then... Yeah, so apart from doing, like, Shrouded Moors and maybe Temple of the Firstborn... Like, some of these are going to be side content that I could potentially do, maybe. Because I don't recognize some of these, like Howling Plateau, Chatted Moors, whatever. But honestly, uh, if anything, I'd actually... I'm probably going to put this everything on, on hold. Because I want to start going through the Torchlight games. 
uh, in preparation for Torchlight Frontiers. Oh. And I also, oh, tiny bit of lore from Auric in the cube. Oh, Auric. Okay. Uh, but I'd like to get through the Torchlight games, and I'd like to get through Path of Exile at least once, because there's a new update for that coming out soonish. And so I'd like to play through that. So if any of you guys are Path of Exile fans and want to kind of join me for that, I might do most of it solo, but uh, maybe once we hit the end game. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Anyway. Rifts reawakening. Only the most powerful of Nephilim can enter no. the rifts. I passed many. No, that's that's rifts. Maybe maybe it's about more Oric? Resultant ah. cool? No, I don't know. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Lore is lore. I don't think it matters too much. So thanks everybody for watching. This is a fun series. If people want, I can do some post-game stuff. Uh if people aren't that interested, that's totally fine. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.